Howdy ho everyone, today I want to show you 10 tricks that will help you enjoy Disney Plus even more. So let's start straight away. Did you know that you can make favorites and create a watch list on Disney Plus? If you go to and find content that you want to watch later, then you can simply press the plus here and it will be added to your watch list. Uh, and then later you can go to the watch list option and here you will find everything that's on the list for you. So it's easy way. If you see something that you want to watch but don't have time to watch it straight away, simply add it to your list of favorites and you will be able to watch it later. So that's number one. Number two, did you know that you can create different profiles inside Disney Plus? Here, if you click the logo here, you can go to add profile. And here you can add very cool uh, profile pictures as well. And here you can even set it to be a kid's profile if that is what you want to. If you add it to as a kid's profile, I will show you now, then it will be very much kid friendly. Uh, and the, it looks very different, not very different, but it looks kind of different, meaning that it's more child friendly. None of the adult films are there, but it will be just packed with content that you don't even find on the, on the ma main front page of Disney Plus for an adult profile. So this is very nice. And then here we can create, once again, you can create your own watch list favorites here for the different profiles. So this is very good in a family where you have several members who want to watch different stuff and have different favorites. Uh, one more thing, the third thing is that if you live outside the United States, you can use a VPN to access Disney Plus. Or if you have a Disney Plus subscription, but you go abroad, you can use a VPN to access the content. Here I have a VPN, uh, Express VPN running, but you also have Surfshark VPN, which works very well. So these are two very good VPN providers that will help you access Disney Plus if you are abroad or sign up if you're abroad. So that's just the third thing, use a VPN. And then let's see that we found some content that we want to and we start playing it. This is uh, both uh, tip number four and five uh, at this very same time. Uh, so as the content starts, uh, you will be able to change the audio language of the content. So let's just see now as the video starts. This is very useful, uh, especially as Disney Plus will come to more and more nations. You can see here. Here we have audio, and here you can choose from quite a lot of different languages. Uh, and also, this is number five, you can change audio language and subtitle language. So this is very useful if you don't want subtitles at all, you can turn them off, or if you want subtitles, you can turn it on, and you can also switch the language. So this is very useful. Uh, so make sure to look for this if you want to watch the content in a different language, with different audio, or with different subtitles. So, but there's even more worth checking out. Number six, if you go to your, uh, to the profiles, edit profiles. Here, let's go to IP address guide. Here you have autoplay. Uh, if you watch one episode of uh, any show that you want to, it will automatically start the second episode afterwards, if it's there. Here you can decide to turn that off if you want to. This is a very nice feature. Here you can also turn off the background video. I'm giving you this for free. So, but if you don't want the videos to be running in the background when you scroll through uh, and watch the front pages, so you can turn it off here. You can also change the app language if you want the Disney Plus website to be in a different language that can also be done here. So, but this is very, very useful. And then uh, once more, uh, I've al 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 also almost mentioned this already, but if you want to change the profile picture, uh, that can also be done here by going to, uh, to the, your profile picture and you can go and change it here. So then you can change the Mandalorian if you want to. And now I'll change my profile picture. Second, uh, now if we continue to stream, uh, a very important place to watch is the first line here, which is originals. Here you will watch and see all the content that is original Disney Plus content. So you might come because you want to watch Marvel movies and so on, but what will be the most attractive stuff on Disney Plus is for sure the original content. So here uh, you would go for this original line, find this one, and you can find all the original content that is made especially for Disney Plus. This is going to be really useful. And then one thing you should also mention here, you can see when you sign up, it, the price is $6.99 US dollar per month, and then you can sign up 
also for a year later and then it's 69.99 us dollar meaning that you get two months for free and it's very much worth it if you plan to stay around because for sure the price of disney plus will increase with time so if you stay around buy a one-year subscription because then you will not be so uh, quickly influenced by a price increase and you will also get two months for free but if you want to stream even more, you should consider this, which means Hulu, Disney Plus and ESPN included for $12.99 a month. If the truth is just a Disney Plus and a Hulu basic subscription in itself would cost 13 US dollar, which means that you almost get ESPN Plus for free. So this is a very good way to save money. And the last thing, number 10, that I would like to share with you is if you have trouble paying because you don't have an American payment card, then you can simply use the VPN again uh, and connect to server in the United States, create a brand new Google profile, and then you can buy here a gift card for Google Play, add this to your Google account, and then you can pay for Disney Plus with your Google account without having an American payment card. So this is very useful for those abroad who are sad about not having access to Disney Plus yet. So you can use the VPN and you can also then pay for it without an American payment card using a Google uh, account which is uh, registered in the United States. So these are 10 tricks for Disney Plus. I hope you have enjoyed it and have a wonderful time streaming. I appreciate any comment, what's up if you subscribe to the channel and have a wonderful day.